Hi YouTube, Troy at the full setup here, back with another unboxing today. And today I have you the Cryorig M9A. Um, this is an AMD um, CPU cooler from Cryorig. You make wicked coolers and it looks absolutely brilliant. And it's only about £17 to buy in the UK from eBuyer, the only place you can get it from. Now with this cooler, you um, need to make sure you um, what platform you're going to use um, because it only has the back plate for the M9A is the AMD and M9A is for the Intel version. Um, if you want to see the unboxing skip in and if you want to see the install skip in even further. But um, my reason for buying this was I was finding it really hard to get a CPU cooler that could go in this case because I'm, I haven't decided whether I want to liquid cool it yet. Um, and these standard AMD coolers that come with them, they look crap and they're not very good, although they have updated them. Um, there's the new Rafe cooler on the top FX range and they've done a lower version of it on the rest of them as well. So. That's my reason for buying it. Um, I just want to show you it because it does look like an absolute wicked cooler. And Cryorig really do um, put a lot into their coolers, even at the lower budget range. So I'm just going to get it unboxed and then you can see the install later in the video. Okay, before I unbox it, I've also got a new mouse as well. I've got the uh, Mad Cats Rat 3. My girlfriend got me it for Valentine's Day. It's wicked, isn't it? I um, was going to do a video of everything on that, but there's loads on YouTube. So go have a look at it. I'm really enjoying it. I'm, I'm getting loads more kills since I've had that mouse. Um, so, right, let's get this unboxed. So let's have a look around the outside the box first. So you can see we've got a picture of the CPU cooler, not showing too much. Um, you've got the M9A, um, comes with a 90mm fan PWN. So this is what I mean. It's not quite low profile, but it's small. And compared to other ones, when I was looking at like thermal take and stuff like that, you see it's going to have this plate on top, which is just going to make it look loads nicer. Then we have the AMD platform logo there, and you've got the sort of cryo rig multi colours and stuff. Um, to this side here, we've got extreme efficient fine tuning cooling capacity, proprietary uh, Jetfin acceleration system, zero interfacing with RAM. Okay, this stays inside the RAM safe zone. And this is another thing I was finding hard something that doesn't hit my RAM because I've got HyperX Beast and it's massive. Um, installation made easy, get started in four minutes. Cryowig CPU coolers are really easy to install. Go have a look at all the wicked videos on YouTube of people doing them. And then here we have pictures of the CPU cooler, which you're going to see in a minute. So it's 102 millimeters wide. It's only 124 millimeters in height. Um, so that's why, as I said, it's not quite low profile. But for me, small case, I've only got about 130, 140. I think it's 140 space I've got inside there. Now I've added the window. Um, and then it's 87 millimeters wide with the single fan. But you can put another fan on it as well. Um, and then we've got the heatsink specifications again, so just the sort of measurements I told you, the weight, um, 425 grams uh, with the fan, um, and then it's got the uh, fin gaps as well. There are 0.4 millimeters and 1.6 millimeter gap, which we'll show you in a minute, and um, there's 6 millimeter heat pipes, and the TDP rated to 120 watt, although I recommend um, to use this with an FM2 Plus. Um, or FM2 chipset, maybe for the FX, you might want to get something a bit more meatier. And then it's just got the fan specifications as well, which is a 600 to 2200 RPM, uh, 90 millimeter fan. Although I am going to swap it over for two Arctic F9s, slightly less performing, but I'll have two, so should hopefully get a bit better performance. And then cryo rig research idea gear on the top. Right, enough about talking, I've been talking for ages. I've got to keep talking, but. I'm going to look in the box. Oh, got more stuff about registering your product to receive an extra extended three years warranty as well. One of those things, really. I don't think you really need to warranty a CPU cooler. Maybe a liquid one. But here we go. Let's have a look. So there seems to be some mounting pins. Oh, there's numbers on them as well. Let's see if there's numbers on other stuff. Here seems to be... Oh, I know what these are. These are probably for the extra fan. So everything's numbered. Really easy to fit. And then we have some nuts as well. Um, I won't be showing the, as you can see here, we've got some CryoRig CP15. I'm actually going to use Arctic MX4. Um, this is their lower end um, thermal paste, but their um, high one is about £15. I don't want to get it, really. Um, so that's what I'm going to use. Obviously, I'll show you how to install it today, but it won't be showing thermal paste for the uh, cooler, cause I, um, for the CPU, because I haven't got it yet. And then here we have, what else is in here? Some product registration. We've got some more stuff in here. Okay, so here we have the plate as well, so it's an AMD plate only. And then we have... I oh know, you just want to see the cooler, don't you? You want to see the cooler? Oh, I can't get into that. I'm going to use my teeth. So in here we have a product... Oh, God, I've got to do this again. That's all right, it's got a little bit at the top. Here we have a product registration card so it's all looking really nice so far. You know, it's just a £17 cooler. 
Oh, that's my registration number. Don't be making my number. Product registration card. And then we have install manuals. Again, you are probably going to want to have a look at these. I know I normally mean, just throw manuals wherever. Do you know what I mean? Just get rid of them. But there we go. You might want the install manuals. Let's have a look at the cooler. So here it is. Here's the 90mm fan. I have seen this with dual fans and white on the internet. Cryo rig fans. But they don't seem to have released it yet. Oh, and some of that horrible silica stuff. They don't seem to have released it yet. So here we have the 90mm fan. Nice cable on it. So I'm going to put another Arctic one on it like that. So it'll be really nice. Um, and then here we have the proprietary jet fin, which is like the 0.4, 1.6 millimeter. So it really gets the air in. So you can see it's nice and slim. I've got this, um, six six millimeter heat pipes. Oh, and it's got a full nickel base on it as well. That's really good. You don't see a lot of, um, I'm not going to peel that off, but you don't see a lot of companies adding that at this price point and then we have the nice black at the top of the cry rig which I'm going to spray white um, so I'll show you that in another video it's going to look nice there, white with two fans well I didn't know this metal would stick out the side so I might have to spray the top as well so yeah I'll have to figure that out there we go it looks nice feels nice you can see it's very you can see in my hands it's very small compared to like a TIE fighter you know what I mean it's not that much bigger so I think this is going to look really nice in the case so I'm just going to show you you know sort of how to install it but you're going to have to imagine I haven't got a CPU, there won't be any thermal paste, but I think you'll really like this CPU cooler for the price. It looks fantastic, it looks really well built. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be able to test it out for a few weeks, so um, if you just hit me up on this video, um, once I've got the CPU and everything, I'll tell you what sort of overclock and temperatures I'm reaching. Obviously, I haven't got the processor yet, so we're not seeing any um, install. I like to use the little P method um, just to put on there, but you can try whatever you want. Go on YouTube, loads of videos to have a look. You're already on YouTube now watching this, so go over and have a look. But the first thing you're going to do is remove your old backplate. Then you need the new backplate, and you need to put these pins in. They lock into place, but they see that that's the back. It needs to go into that bit, yeah? I panicked a little bit. I put it on the other way at first, and I was like, oh, this is going to in the way of that they touch it they're real close like I even was going to modify it you've missed so much other video footage it was going to be in this video i was going to be screaming and going mad at cryowig but i was being an idiot because i didn't read the instructions so there we go get all your pins in lesson of the day read the instructions on stuff that you haven't done before well obviously you've done cpu coolers before but just not this one and then line that up line all the pins into place and here we go. So yeah, it is under four minutes. If you read the instructions. And obviously you'd already have your processor on here as well, ready to put your paste on. And then you take the four little nuts. I'm going to get start with this side first, because it is it's so close to these capacitors. I don't want to tighten it up too much. And we put pins on. See, look, that easy. Oh, that's just popped out the back. There will be a little bit of fiddling about. Ah, oh, they will just pop now. And I'm back. So, yeah, if you do, you'll know when they're too tight because they'll pop out. So just back up a little bit. So, there we go, that easy, simple. Read the instructions again and you're ready to go. So obviously you've got your paste on and everything and you need to take the fan off of the cooler as well. And then you just place it on the top. You can go sort of either way you want as well. So you can go that way. You can have air blasting down onto the back of your GPU, for example. But I just think that looks a bit weird, really. It needs to be this way, doesn't it? And that way. I'll just uh, zoom out a little bit. Whee! And then it's just... Okay, so if you have all your thermal paste applied, and then you just screw it into position... I don't go all the way, I normally one side at a time, not like the whole way, getting most of the way there, and then just want it finger tight, that's it, see that I'm not going to push that any further, and I'm not going to push that any further, so there we go, that's it all installed, so do you want to see it with the cooler on? So here it is with the included 90mm uh, fan on. As you can see, this isn't beast RAM. This is just some few out of the old build, but you can see it completely misses it. So you can put whatever size RAM in you want. Um, it's got a really nice profile to it. Sorry, we're not doing some really good posh sweeping photos. I'm just sort of crouched over holding it. 
and you've got the uh, logo on the top there. So this is definitely going to be an upgrade over a stock crawler. Um, if you want to see it all painted with the two fans on, you need to go over to my channel and subscribe because I'm probably going to do that later today. Thanks for watching.